In my first two years of medical school, we did a continuity clinic a half day a week. And one of the first patients that I met maybe two or three months into medical school was an 18, 19 year old girl who'd come from early like the college uh, presented with acute onset of vaginal bleeding. It had been present for about three or four days at that point and was very heavy. At that point, she had no other symptoms, no pain, no weight loss, no fatigue, nothing, just the acute onset of vaginal bleeding. And she came in looking very, she looked terrible. She was pale as a ghost. Her blood pressure was low, her heart rate was high. Um, and we checked her hemoglobin with just a finger stick and it was like 4.5. And so we immediately called an ambulance and she was sent to a local emergency department. My next week of clinic, I found out that she had been diagnosed with a very advanced stage of cervical cancer. And um, she pursued very, aggressive treatment for about the first four months. Um, and then she did palliative care for about two months. Um, and then she ended up passing away at 19 years old. This was back in 2006, which is actually the first year that the HPV vaccine was introduced. And since then we have seen a dramatic decrease in HPV related cervical cancers and even genital warts. People ask me all the time if I recommend the HPV vaccine and I absolutely 100% do. My daughter got it, my son will be getting it this year and my other kids will get it also. As with any medical intervention, there are some potential risks and it's generally gonna be redness, swelling, tenderness at the site of the injection. There's a risk of fever, headache, nausea, and a risk of dizziness or fainting, but fainting is also more common with teenagers with any vaccine. This vaccine has now been around for more than 15 years and we have a tremendous amount of safety data associated with it. And every study says that the benefits vastly outweigh the risks. This vaccine not only prevents the most common causes of cervical cancer, genital warts, a bunch of other types of cancer, but it also preserves fertility and decreases the risk of procedures that need to be done to make sure that the cervix is healthy. If you have any reservations about getting the HPV vaccine for yourself or your kids, please reach out to your primary care doctor or OBGYN and they can help you through.